Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Ross Traver Public Library Library's Craft Day. Um, and on Facebook, I showed you what the craft would be, which is made with these caps. Uh, these are from water bottles. This cap is from a prescription medication, but you can also use uh, juice lids. Um, as long as the, this one is, you have one that's bigger because it will be the base of your flower. You have one that will be painted red like a ladybug, one that's the center, and five that will be the petals around the center. Um, one important thing to do first is to, we're going to put the hole inside of the base and one of these for the leaf on the flower. So it's important to have something in front of you that's not going to mark the area that you're going to use to punch a hole. You could use a drill, you could use really sharp scissors, but this is something that probably the parents should do. Um, I have this piece of equipment here that's from a drill that I just turn, rotate in here, and it puts a nice hole in here, as you can see. It goes through, well, it didn't go through here because it's got this thing right here. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. So that it goes through. Hope you can all see that. And you can help it on the other side too. This is a little tougher lid. Your juice lids are not normally this tough. Um, I would probably suggest a juice lid because you do want it to go through all the way, but you will be using hot glue as well. There we go. So now, once that you've done that, let's see if this, give it a sample and see if we can get it through. This one is really tough. There we go. Okay, that's going to work much better. Okay, so this will go through, and we will cut this as you will see in a little bit. Um, so you put this aside, you put your base aside, you're going to paint it, and then you take one of your smaller caps and you put one hole off to the side. It's not in the center, it's off to the side off to the side at the top and off to the side at the bottom. You also put a hole, these are much easier, so that when you put your skewer through it, like so. There we go. You have a little bit more that sticks out to the left of it which will be the leaf of the flower, then this will go into the base. Okay, once you have done this part of it, um, now you can go on to painting. Now I have a paint palette here that I'm using, but I don't know if you saw Miss Laura's video this morning. Uh, today is actually Earth Day, and she did a really nice presentation on um, items around the home that you can use as a paint palette, one of which is a large lid to possibly a pretzel container, and then these caps would be the little holes here to put your different color paints in it. So if you haven't seen that, um, check on the on Facebook page and you will see where she has uh, demonstrated that. She has a lot of great ideas on there for Earth Day. Okay, so let's begin. We're now going to paint our caps.
Okay, now once your paints have dried, now you're ready to assemble. So the first thing you want to do is take your skewer, find the holes in your leaf, and put them through the holes, like so. want to make sure that the bigger side is on the left of the stem. Okay, now you stick it through the base and I add some super glue. I'm sorry, not super glue, hot glue around the base of the bottom to make sure that it's going to stay there. You don't have to do the leaf because it's pretty tight in there. Another thing that I recommend too is using two coats of paint. You get a mu you get much better covering that way. So you want to hold it there a little bit. You can maybe just put a little bit right here. Smear it around. My hands are a mess. My nails are a mess. Okay. This is where you can adjust the leaf. You can push it down a little bit more if you'd like, or move it up a little bit more. Now you're going to add the center of your flower. So that you're going to want to put a little bit of glue at the top of the stem. Kind of eyeball it. Might actually be easier to do this. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna do it this way. Take all of this off of here. What's great about this type of glue. It comes off. Relatively easy. Okay, so now we have the stem and the leaf. Now we're ready to, as you can see, Assemble the flower. Here is the center of the flower. We have the purple petals. I chose purple. You can choose any color that you would like. This is what's, what it's going to look like. And I actually do think our rod could be bigger now that I look at it. Okay, so I'm going to use a bigger rod. Maybe not cut it so small. In the beginning of the video, I showed you how to cut it a little bit short, maybe in half, but maybe you don't want to go quite that. This looks like it's about six and a half, seven inches long. So that's probably safe to say, cut it that long. Actually stays in much better that way as well. Okay, so now just put a little bit of glue on the yellow base and start gluing your petals. You could either put it on the yellow center or on the petal itself your choice. You can always go back and change it around. As I said, it's very easy to take apart and always make sure that you stick the glue to the yellow. I did not. When you're done, all those little hairs from your glue gun, if you just use a blow dryer, it will remove all of this. Okay, so this one here is giving me a hard time. Let's add a little bit more. Okay, and I did go ahead and do my ladybug. And all I did is make it half moon and black line down the center, a smaller kind of Y, it looks like a Y, and then for the dots on the back, I took the back either of the dowel rod that you have left, dip it in your black paint, and then dip it, and it makes little circles like this. You can make them as big or small as you want. And I did it three on each side of his wings. 
now for once this all dries, once the red dries and you add the black, you want to make sure that everything dries in between and make sure that the black up here is nice and dry before you do the eyes. Now you could do the eyes by taking the other end of your dowel rod and just tapping it in the center. You can take the other side as well, but that would be your white and then your black in the center. So it would be your white. And then your black in the center of that. But of course you want to make sure that everything is dry before you start adding any other layers on top of it. And once it's done, you have something that looks like this. Make sure you carry the black all the way around the side. And that is your ladybug. Now you're ready to add your ladybug to your flower. So I'm going to add my ladybug. It's trying to fly away. I'm going to add my ladybug to the top of my flower like so. Okay. Now, I have to put this through here because I've changed it out. And it's going to be harder for me because that doesn't have a point on it. Okay, so I just have to get it through here. So make sure that you use the pointy side. Remember, I made this one longer because the flower didn't. So make sure you use the pointy side of the skewer to get it through here because if not, you're going to be like me and you're going to be struggling. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Now I have the pointy, yeah, I have a new skewer and it's got the point. Alright. Well, that was some work. stick my there we go okay now I have the base and the leaf and again you could adjust this any way you want the important thing is to get your flower on there first then once you get your flower on there then you can adjust your leaf okay so now what I do is I lay it down I kind of find the center of the flower I'm going to add glue on here. And I'm going to hold it on here. Just make sure that you use enough glue. Everything stays on there. And you're going to have to hold it for a minute or two. Now this part that's sticking up here, that's not any big deal. You can cut that off. You could use a pair of pliers. But if you get it with your scissors, it'll work as well. Okay, so. And we have glue strings everywhere. But as I said, if you use a blow dryer on your glue, now I went through this video a little bit quickly, so you could take your time a little bit more and play around with it to get it the way that you would like. You could put two leaves on it if you wanted to. Um, although I think one you would have to glue on because I don't know that you could get both of them on that way. But that, is your flower and your stem and it stands and it's very cute so make sure that you use two coats let them dry in between each coat um, you could use um, Mod Podge to seal it 
um, probably do it a little bit neater than I did. Um, you can make it your own, but there it is. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.